shop is still in crazy construction mode. The good thing is, got everything moved out of the other house and got it sold so now I can focus 100% on this place. I ain't gonna lie, my, my world's been kind of rocked here lately. Got a visitor in the shop. So, probably gonna be working on this thing in this video. It's a really nice uh, fox, fox body setup customer car. Kind of mentioned in the past that I might take on a little bit of customer work. And uh, this is kind of a test to that. I did some work on this thing in the past. I actually did the nine inch housing ends on this rear end. You might remember that video. It's an 8.8 .8 basically, it's got nine inch housing ends on it. And uh, put some gussets and stuff on there. Beautiful car, Brandon's done it right. You might be familiar with him, Sick Fox. He's basically did some turbo upgrades, so I think he went with a larger exhaust housing. And he's wanting a larger downpipe. Basically going from that, which is I think three and a half, over to some four inch, I believe. All kinds of goodies, new V-bands, new O2 sensor from, or new O2 sensor bung from Stainless Bros, some stainless tubing. I don't, I don't expect that thing to be a really difficult job just cause it's, you know, front exit up there in the front. So probably work on that today. And speaking of new parts, Got some new parts for the Bibster as well. So I got uh, three U bins. These are two and a half inch 304 stainless from Ace Race parts. So if you ever need parts for turbo setup or exhaust, whatever, they make really nice pieces. And a couple of V bands. Pretty stoked about getting back on the Bipster, get the turbo setup kind of started. I think I wanna, I think I probably need to make me some kind of like deadline, false deadline, real deadline. Try to get some really good progress on that thing. It's been a while. So turbo parts, got some ideas of how I'm gonna mount that front turbo permanently. A uh, couple more, couple new tools. So you sheet metal guys are gonna recognize this one. This is a hand seamer. Bought this the other day, kind of helped me out with some of that sheet metal on that thing. May do a Friday video on this. So yeah, Bibster, next video today, downpipe. You know one of the first things I had to do when I moved in this shop was hook up a temporary sound system. Gotta get my Gotta get my tunes in, you know what I'm saying? Plans long term is to have a place to put this and hook up an echo to it, echo dot, and have full Wi Fi and everything in here. And that way I can just say, Alexa, play Whiskey Myers or whatever. Speaking of tunes, you know what I haven't played in a long time on the channel or in the shop? It's muscle standard. I think we need to make that happen today. I like these eyes, 
I don't play by the rules. No one does. I bought up both sides of my toe slow pump just because. You chase the golden arrow and watch the archers mark up in the sky. Don't think these simple favors will let you backtrack straight to simple times. You gotta know, like you know gravity, that this is what's gonna happen in your life. First it's a dream, then you take action. hoping to get it all done in one day but uh, the size of this tubing going from three and a half to a four inch down um, down pipe it's just too big to get it in and out as one piece so gonna have to make it a two-piece down pipe and gonna have to order a v-band four inch v-band for that purpose so the lower section itself will be you know the actual elbow at the bottom that comes out the side will actually be attached by a v-band but so far it looks good. The owner actually wants to upgrade the entire turbo system I think at some point, so we're just kind of doing some makeshift tubing now. We're not spending a ton of money on all nice new tubing, trying to work with what we got. And then in the future we'll come back and redo all that. Try my best to give you guys an update in the next video on this thing, maybe get some footage of it running. Next video, turbo setup on the Bibster. I think that's all the goods. I know I'm gonna get some comments about LS. It looks like an LS, but it's still small block Ford. Just so you know. Not that I have anything against LS setups. <laughs>